Now, anarchists on both sides of this will think that uh, no state is justified. So if you follow Nozick down partly down the path, and then you ask, well, what, why, in fact, should someone who doesn't uh, think that uh, the minimal state is uh, going to, to benefit them, why should they be, uh, 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 why is it okay for the minimal state to force them to be part of it? And if you reject the idea that it is, then you end up a an anarcho-capitalist, or, an, or a, uh, yeah, I guess that's what Murray Rothbard used to call it, anarcho-capitalism. Uh, people like Rothbard or von Mises or Ayn Rand right, are, are in that kind of uh, camp. If, on the other hand, if you press on the other side and you begin to ask, well, look, why should we allow inequalities? Why do we need coercion in order to, to, to ensure fairness? Then you end up thinking, if coercion can't be justified in those ways, then you end up with an anarcho-socialist or anarcho-communist position. And those will differ in terms of the way they think that the society and economy runs, but they will agree that coercion is not an acceptable way of producing it. 